Hello students in the class of 2T4. Welcome to the 2021 Virtual Induction Ceremony. My name is Natalie Crown and I am the Acting Director of the Doctor of Pharmacy program at the Leslie Dan Faculty of Pharmacy. Pharmacy has been a wonderful career for me and has taken me down many paths. I have grown as a professional, clinician and person through the patients I served, my pharmacist mentors and colleagues. Today, I have the distinct pleasure and privilege to welcome you into our professional community of pharmacy, but also to the Leslie Dan Faculty of Pharmacy. I, along with our faculty and staff, look forward to working with you through the next four years of your educational journey. Your time with us will go quickly, so I encourage you to embrace the opportunities that come with being a pharmacy student at the Leslie Dan Faculty of Pharmacy. As a pharmacy student and future pharmacist, your conduct both within our midst and in our community will be guided by the core ethical principles of the Ontario College of Pharmacists Code of Ethics. This code guides all of us in the work that we do each day to serve our patients and society. Induction ceremonies are a symbolic introduction into our profession. They represent the significance of entering a professional community. Our induction ceremony is represented by a white coat. All pharmacists and pharmaceutical scientists around the globe have worn a lab coat at some point in time. They are surely practical when working in laboratories. However, there is something different and special about today's donning of a lab coat. It is a white coat, a symbol. In the 19th century, the white coat of physicians symbolized their use of the scientific method and adherence to aseptic technique. Today, white coats for health professionals represent humanistic values and a commitment to the responsibility of our own chosen profession. The donning of a white coat today for members of the class of 2T4 symbolizes your entry into the professional community of pharmacy. May this serve as a symbol of our duty to care and the trust your patients and community have in you. The white coat donned today is important because it represents your affiliation with the profession and all that it entails. Each time you put on your coat, or enter a practice environment without one, let it be a reminder of your roles and responsibilities. Class of 2T4, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to our pharmacy community. Good afternoon. I am delighted to welcome everyone to the Leslie Dan Faculty of Pharmacy's virtual induction ceremony. A special welcome to the class of 2T4, as well as any partners, parents, and friends joining us on today's live stream. Today is a very special event and an important milestone in your professional pharmacy journey that recognizes the transition from coursework to experiential learning. This milestone is truly cause for celebration, although perhaps not in the way that you had imagined when you had applied to our program. But it's wonderful to continue the induction tradition virtually, and when it's safe to do so, we look forward to hosting a dedicated toast and a class photo in person. The global COVID-19 pandemic has turned the world upside down, but I want you to know that in spite of the tremendous uncertainty brought by the pandemic, you are exactly where you need to be. There is no better time than the present to be studying pharmacy. Ours is a prestigious and historical profession and together we are part of one of the top pharmacy schools in the world. Today's induction ceremony is an opportunity to develop your professional network and identity. I encourage you to take a moment to consider your commitment to the profession, to becoming a clinician, and a trusted essential healthcare professional. As a trusted healthcare professional, it is important to understand the Code of Ethics set forth by the Ontario College of Pharmacists, or OCP. As you embark on your journey in pharmacy, I hope that this Code of Ethics will provide a strong foundation for your careers. These principles are embodied by the white coats that you wear today, and I hope that you'll remember our Code of Ethics each time you wear the coat. In closing, I would like to thank everyone for attending and for participating in today's virtual ceremony. In today's environment, it is clear that now more than ever, pharmacy expertise is critical to providing patient-centered care and to reimagine the delivery of healthcare at all levels. 
I am so honored to welcome you to the pharmacy community and I wish you the very, very best as you begin your practical training. Hello, class of 2T4. I am Jamie Keller, the Associate Dean Academic, and I'm honored to be here welcoming you into the professional community of pharmacy, albeit in a different format this year. It is a community that I am proud to be a part of and one that I have found to be welcoming and supportive. By entering the pharmacy program here at the Leslie Dan Faculty of Pharmacy at the University of Toronto, you are on a path to become a valued health professional who significantly impacts the health of Ontario's citizens. We have surely witnessed the impact of pharmacists throughout the pandemic. Our work has garnered positive attention amongst our health professional colleagues, the government and the media. Pharmacists have stepped up to provide high quality, accessible patient care during very challenging times. We are confident that you too will embrace the vital roles of the pharmacy profession and recognize their importance. Pharmacy is an ancient profession, one of the oldest in the world with roots tracing back to Babylonia. For those of you who know me, I am a pharmacist, but I also study professional identity through a historical lens. Thus, at many events, I come carrying an old pharmacy history book of sorts. Yes, an actual book. And today, it's Kramer's and Erdang's History of Pharmacy text, sent to me from some old bookstore in the UK. And now I'm going to read you a passage. Wherever civilization arises, we find pharmacy, because it fulfills one of man's basic needs. This effort to grasp from nature whatever might shield us from affliction became old as a service before it was new as a profession. Now, not only are you joining a prestigious profession, you are also now part of a highly regarded health science faculty at the University of Toronto and a leading edge faculty of pharmacy in the world. We were ranked fourth in the 2020 World QS rankings by subject. There is no doubt that U of T Pharmacy is moving science and health which will open many doors to fulfilling careers for each of you. So in choosing pharmacy, U of T Pharmacy, you have said yes to numerous opportunities. However, you have also accepted the responsibility that comes with such opportunities. In deciding to become a pharmacist, you have begun your commitment to the professional role. We count on you to fulfill your commitment. We are all here to help you be successful in this role in the very near future. Again, it is my privilege to welcome you to the profession of pharmacy. I'm Justin Bates, Chief Executive Officer of the Ontario Pharmacist Association. I am thrilled today to be bringing remarks for the University of Toronto's 2021 PharmD induction ceremony. There are over 20,000 pharmacy professionals in Ontario, and that includes pharmacists, pharmacy technicians, pharmacy interns, and pharmacy students. 68% of pharmacists practice in the community setting, with the remainder practicing in hospital, long-term care facilities, and family health teams. At OPA, we have over five full-time pharmacists working uh, and several part-time pharmacists that are contributing to the work we do in producing clinical tools, advancing advocacy priorities for the profession, and delivering best-in-class professional development. By choosing to become a pharmacist, you have opted for a profession that provides boundless opportunities and will both fulfill and challenge you throughout your professional lives. While I would have preferred to deliver this welcome in person, this pandemic has challenged our society and healthcare system in ways we never imagined possible. I am overwhelmingly proud of how pharmacy professionals have stepped up during these times to take on new ways of caring for the health and well being of Ontarians. And I look forward to a time when I can welcome you to the profession in person. So just as your lives are undergoing change as you begin your journey to becoming a pharmacist, so too is there a great amount of change occurring in our profession. I have seen tremendous expansion of scope and the practice is now significantly different and enhanced than it was just a few years ago. This change does not stop. If one thing is certain, it's that this profession will look different yet again when you become a licensed pharmacist. While this is an incredible responsibility, it is also a great honor and one that we do not take lightly as Ontarians place their trust in us in ways that start with, but extend well past the management of medications. OPA is here to support you throughout your career and in many ways from advocacy to the professional development and far beyond. 
And as Canada's largest advocacy body for the pharmacy professionals, OPA is the voice that has been leading change and will continue to do so into the future. Over the past year, we have seen unprecedented advocacy success to advance the profession from our role in COVID testing to vaccinations. And I can say with certainty that the lanes of healthcare are converging. And the real opportunity here is for pharmacists to continue to step up and provide exceptional care, protecting public health, helping to keep the economy open, and becoming a healthcare destination to help your patients manage their overall health. So it's with that that I say congratulations on embarking on this journey. I know this room is full of future leaders, and I look forward to working with you shoulder to shoulder to advance the profession of pharmacy and for the patients of Ontario. Hello, everybody. My name is Nancy Lum Wilson, and I'm the CEO and Registrar of the Ontario College of Pharmacists, your regulated body. Today, I have the pleasure of welcoming you into the profession. I've always enjoyed meeting everybody in person, and I never thought I would be making these comments by video, but here we are today. You're entering the profession at a unique time in our history. Two years ago, we would have never thought that we would be learning virtually, socializing virtually, wearing masks everywhere we go, and unable to see our loved ones and give them a hug. But along with these tremendous challenges also comes tremendous opportunity. Sometimes a shared crisis strengthens us and we see what is really important. Today, we are seeing collaboration across the professions become much stronger. And there's a new understanding of what it is that we can achieve together. There's increased recognition of the value that each profession brings to the table, including pharmacy. And we are seeing an acceleration in the use of technology to enable collaboration. I believe that this shift in thinking will also be the future of our profession, as well as the difference in how we actually approach everything in the world. Pharmacy is an amazing profession and the value that it brings to patient care cannot be understated. Now we have an opportunity to accelerate the ability to collaborate across all professions. Carry that thought with you as we look forward to a much brighter 2022 and beyond and get yourself vaccinated when it's offered to you. It will help to get us out of this pandemic and back to a time when we could socialize and see each other in person. I wish you well in your studies and look forward to meeting you in person when you graduate. Take care, bye-bye. Hi, I'm Andrew Wiley of Sinai Health Pharmacy and on behalf of the Pharmacy Executive of the Toronto Academic Health Science Network, welcome class of 24 to the profession of pharmacy. In usual times, we tell you about pharmacists in our hospitals, advising on premature infants antibiotic selection, managing drug interactions for people living with HIV, recommending dose adjustments for patients with kidney failure, and counseling patients with cancer on the side effects of their medications. These are unusual times though, and I'd like to share how hospital pharmacists have been part of the response to the pandemic. They've been critiquing emerging evidence on COVID-19 management and advising on which medications should be used and when. They've been helping model usage of critical care drugs to predict when our shelves would be empty. And in preparation for when those shelves will be empty, they've been identifying agents that can be used as substitutes for the first line agents. They've also been educating recruited physicians and nurses on critical care medications so they can help manage the high volumes of critical care patients that we're seeing. They've also been managing COVID-19 vaccines to ensure they're properly stored and prepared so that they're effective when administered. And as always, they are still caring for all in need of hospital care, including the premature infants, those with HIV, renal failure and cancer. These are the outputs of a dedicated, resilient and caring workforce of pharmacists in Tazan hospitals throughout the pandemic. We hope to relay our passion for patient care when you join us as volunteers and on rotations in the near future. Until then, please stay safe and get vaccinated. Hello, U of T class of 2T4. First of all, thank you for the invitation to speak to you today. On behalf of the Canadian Society of Hospital Pharmacists Ontario branch, congratulations on all your accomplishments so far and welcome to the pharmacy family. And that's family with a PH, of course. This is such a time of change for healthcare right now. 
and it is our privilege to welcome you to our growing profession as we transform to take on new challenges and forge new paths for our profession. COVID-19 has placed healthcare up front and center in everyone's lives, and pharmacists continue to be one of the most trusted healthcare professionals. As a hospital pharmacist, I saw firsthand how quickly our profession stepped forward to support our patients from our critical care settings to safely discharging our patients back to community. As you go through pharmacotherapy courses, EPE rotations, know that you are already contributing to the future of pharmacy and that you will soon be pharmacy colleagues alongside those who you meet as professors, guest lecturers, and those making speeches to you like I am today. Lastly, the one takeaway I'd like you to have is this. The most important qualities you need to be a pharmacist are the ones you had even before you entered pharmacy school. It's how you want to make a positive difference in the lives of others and how you care deeply for others. Thank you. Hello, my name is Fabian and I'm the president of the Undergraduate Pharmacy Society. And I'm Samantha, the UPS Vice President. It was not too long ago that we welcomed you to the program during orientation week. And now we are happy to welcome you as fellow members of the profession. Many of you have not been able to meet your classmates, upper year colleagues, and faculty members within our program. But even though we cannot meet in person, you're still the newest members of our family with a PH. And we hope that you feel connected now and throughout your four years at the faculty. You'll be watching this at home with your families who may be streaming it on the television and sharing the link on their Facebook for the world to see. They may have even planned the pictures they are going to take of you with your white coats in your living room. Although we are celebrating this moment together at a distance, we are all looking forward to the opportunity to meet you in person in the future as professional colleagues. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed many things about our lives, but it has also shown us just how essential pharmacists are in our healthcare system, and our role will continue to rapidly evolve to meet the needs of the public. This past year has shown us that the truth is, no one will know what your role in the profession will look like in five years, just like we didn't know where we would be today. But despite this, we know that your future is as bright as your new coat and that you will go on to achieve great things as future pharmacists. With a white coat, you now represent the profession. You'll be wearing it on your EPE and APE rotations as a symbol of your professional journey, the unique skill set you have, and your important role in the healthcare system. Make sure to wash it often to keep it sparkly and white. As the newest generation entering the profession during such unprecedented and changing times, you'll be the ones guiding its future. And we know if anyone can handle changes, it's you. You're the first class to enter pharmacy school entirely online, from watching lectures on Zoom to making friends with your classmates through social media, this year has been far from normal. But despite it all, you're here with us now. Today we're celebrating your achievements. You made it into pharmacy school. You survived first semester. And now you're putting on your white coat. We are proud of you for making it here. You have faced many unique challenges and have persevered through them to reach this moment. You have chosen to serve your community and patients and will soon swear an oath to uphold these responsibilities which come with the title of pharmacist. There will be hurdles on your path which you will overcome. And this will only make our journey more rewarding. Be confident in your choices and look forward to all the amazing things you will accomplish. This is such a special event in every pharmacy student's life. It seems like just yesterday we were at our own white coat ceremony. I agree. It feels good, but never the same as the first time. Enjoy the magic of putting on your white coat for the very first time. And again, welcome to the profession of pharmacy. Hi, 2T4s. Congratulations on making it through almost a whole year of pharmacy so far. You were a pleasure to teach this year, and I really enjoyed all those early Friday morning tutorials, and I'm still honestly amazed at how quickly you all adapted to online learning and how engaged you remained throughout the whole course. Your lively discussions and questions really made my job a lot easier to do, and I can't wait to eventually actually see you all in person live at the faculty, and of course, in your fresh new white coats. Congratulations. I'm pleased to introduce you to Alice Sang, our 2020 Hall of Distinction Award recipient. Alice is an alumna, associate professor, and preceptor in the Leslie Dan Faculty of Pharmacy community. Dear class of 24, I'm so honored to be here with you today for this important milestone in your pharmacy training. I'm sure that starting class virtually in a pandemic was not how you imagined your journey would begin. So I want to congratulate you all on the resilience and dedication you've shown over the last few months. 
It's been said that you learn as much, if not more, through adversity as you do from your successes. And that's never been more true than now. Even though you may be physically separated from each other, remember that you are not alone. You have already started building bonds as classmates, and I'm able to say this with the benefit of experience, that this is something that will last, and it is something that will be there in addition to the strong friendships you have and will develop. You are surrounded by people who want you to succeed. Your classmates, your friends and family, your professors and mentors, and your future colleagues. You will be joining a profession that is full of opportunities and which will offer you so much in return. As you embark on your experiential learning, embrace every aspect of your journey. There won't always be straightforward solutions, comfortable situations, or answers that patients or families want to hear. But that is one of the reasons why you chose pharmacy, in order to make a difference. And you will. How can I say this? Because you're already here. Congratulations, Class of 24. I wish you the very best, and I look forward to welcoming you to the profession. Congratulations, and thank you, Alice, for everything you do for our community. The role and purpose of OCP's Code of Ethics is to articulate the ethical principles and standards which guide the practice of pharmacists in fulfilling the college's mandate to serve and protect the public by putting patients first. A copy of the code was included in each of your induction care packages. Let's read through the code together. The most important feature or characteristic that distinguishes a healthcare professional from another type of professional is that healthcare professionals are committed, first and foremost, to the direct benefit of their patients and only secondarily to making a profit. In choosing to become a pharmacist, we acknowledge our understanding and commitment to the professional role, recognizing it is not about us or our personal or business interests. It is about the patient. We appreciate that our patients are vulnerable and may often be limited by personal and circumstantial factors which enhance and reinforce this vulnerability. Inherent within the healthcare professional patient relationship, there is an imbalance of power, with the healthcare professional holding that power. Patients trust us. They trust that as healthcare professionals, we will respect and protect their vulnerability and maintain professional boundaries as we use our knowledge, skills, and abilities to make decisions that enhance their health and well being. When we become a regulated healthcare professional, we implicitly enter into what is commonly referred to as a social contract with society. This contract requires that we keep our promise to act in the best interests of our patients and place their well-being first and foremost. It requires that we recognize and remember that we have not simply chosen a profession, but also a vocation, committing ourselves to help and benefit those entrusted to our care in a spirit of altruism, goodwill, sincerity, and integrity. In exchange for our promise, society agrees to provide our profession with the autonomy to govern ourselves as a self-regulating profession, with all the privileges and statuses afforded to regulated healthcare professionals. The second part of the Code of Ethics is a set of four ethical principles that govern healthcare practice. In fulfilling our professional promise to our patients and to society, healthcare professionals are guided by the following ethical principles of healthcare. Beneficence, which is to benefit. Non-maleficence, which is to do no harm and to prevent harm from occurring. Respect for persons and justice. And accountability, which is also known as fidelity.
Now I invite everyone to read the Pledge of Professionalism with me. As a professional, a pharmacist must adhere to a demanding set of ethical principles. High ideals are necessary to ensure the quality of care extended to patients. Adoption of these principles begins when a student joins all members within the professional community of pharmacy. As a student of pharmacy and a member of the pharmacy community, I believe that there is a need to build and reinforce a professional identity founded on integrity, ethical behavior, and honor. This development, a vital process in my pharmacy education, will guide me in my educational journey towards the professional relationship I must establish between society and myself. Integrity will be an essential part of my everyday life and I'll pursue all academic and professional endeavors with honesty and a commitment to service. As a member of the professional community of pharmacy, I am an ambassador for all other members and I will work to ensure that my actions uphold the integrity and prestige of other members and of the profession. Therefore, as a pharmacy student, I will embrace loyalty and duty to the profession by contributing to the well-being of others and by enthusiastically accepting responsibility and accountability afforded by my affiliation with the profession. Pursue professional competence through self-directed and continued learning. I will strive for high ideals, cooperation and harmony amongst my classmates, academic and non-academic staff, and professional colleagues within the university community and the profession. Adopt professional and ethical behavior within the university and in practice settings. I will thereby encourage collegiality amongst my professional peers and respect their rights to optimal learning environments and career opportunities. Uphold the profession of pharmacy with respect and pride. I will speak respectfully and constructively of the profession and strive to promote the positive contributions the profession can make to patient care amongst my professional peers within the university community and to society. Maintain the highest ideals of patient care and professional attributes to facilitate a positive rapport and trusting relationship required of the pharmaceutical care provider. Support my colleagues by actively encouraging personal commitment to the spirit of the Ontario College of Pharmacists Code of Ethics and to this pledge of professionalism. As a pharmacy student, I hereby agree to this code of behavior and will strive to uphold my pledge of professionalism throughout all aspects of my education in pharmacy. At this time, I invite everyone to recite the Declaration of Commitment. The Ontario College of Pharmacists Declaration of Commitment. I commit to serve and protect my patients and society. In keeping this promise, I will put my patients first. I will do good and benefit my patients and society. I will do no harm and whenever possible, prevent harm from occurring. I will protect my patient's vulnerability and respect their rights as autonomous persons. I will act as a responsible and accountable fiduciary of the public trust. I will act with integrity and will honor the ideals, values, and commitments of my profession. I will faithfully abide by my profession's code of ethics. I make this commitment as a healthcare professional to my patients, society, my profession, and to myself. Hey, TV4s, I just want to say congratulations. Welcome to the Leslie Dan Faculty of Pharmacy. Welcome to the family. Um, although not under the most ideal circumstances, uh, we have nonetheless triumphed and persevered through a completely online transition and online education. I am so honored and humbled to be the president of such a resilient, uh, talented, diverse group of students that I am more than confident will help change the world. Um, while traditionally the ceremony is held in person and it's also where I'm giving all of y'all a nice big hug, we don't have the opportunity this year while we do have a virtual ceremony. Um, I still want y'all to take this opportunity to be proud of yourselves, to give yourselves a pat on the back because it certainly was not easy getting here. And I know that you still have the future as members of the professional pharmacy community to look forward to, to be able to really make a difference in uh, healthcare. On behalf of the 2 4 Council, I wish you all continued success in your academic journey and your future as healthcare professionals. Uh, I look forward to meeting you all in person soon and hopefully y'all will give me a hug because we all need one right now. Uh, but until then, I'll give you all a virtual one. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, and congratulations once again. Congratulations, congratulations to you.